basics of bird flu and comparison with COVID-19. Hi guys, welcome to another informative video of The Healthy Home. In our today's video, we're going to discuss basics of bird flu and how it affected masses. Maybe you already have seen some of the social media posts comparing COVID-19 with bird flu. These discussions started when a person in China got infected with bird flu recently. We will also see the difference in symptoms of COVID-19 and bird flu. At the end of this video, we will discuss some preventative measures and risk factors about bird flu. Avian influenza, or bird flu, is a viral infection that occurs naturally among aquatic birds and also can spread in domestic birds and other animal species. However, cross-species transmission is rare and humans are infected rarely. However, health experts still consider it a major risk factor and fear that it can spread like the COVID-19 pandemic. According to the World Health Organization, WHO, this virus, H5N1, first time spread among humans in 1997. This virus can get transmitted from bird to bird and hen to hen within a poultry farm. Causes of Bird Flu Bird flu is commonly found in aquatic birds and wild waterfowl. It is a viral infection of influenza type A and transmits from one species of birds to another. Generally, influenza has three types, A, B, and C. Influenza of type A is the most common type that affects wild and domesticated birds. This virus contains eight RNA strands to make it a genome. Two specific types of proteins are found on virus spikes, commonly known as hemagglutinin and neuraminidase. Various types of surface proteins have been identified, and therefore different strains are affecting birds and mammals at a large scale. Different strains of bird flu are 7N7, H5N8, H5N2, and H9N2. Some of these variants are causing a severe pathogenic attack on birds and killing thousands of birds and poultry. Possible outbreak of virus in human. Recently, 41-year-old man in China was diagnosed with H10N3, which is a highly pathogenic variant of bird flu. However, no more cases of H10N3 were reported. H10N3 is a highly pathogenic influenza variant and can occur in host humans when they are dealing with infected species of birds or poultry. There are some social media posts where people are comparing H10N3 with COVID-19, but health experts believe that large-scale human-to-human transmission is rare and large-scale transmission has not been found within humans. Since the virus is existing for more than two decades, but still large-scale transmission among humans is not observed. Different controversies and researches are under discussion, and for some experts, this virus could spread from person to person. Spread and growth. The virus can grow within a large group of birds or domesticated birds. This is also found in saliva, mucus, and the feces of birds. When one bird is infected, then it can spread to all nearby communities of birds. Some domesticated animals like cats, tigers, and hens may be infected with the virus. Similarly, any individual that is taking care of domestic birds, hens, or mammals may get infected in the eyes, nose, or mouth. This virus can also enter the human body from inhaled air or dust particles carrying the virus of influenza A. Symptoms of Bird Flu According to health experts, bird flu symptoms are quite similar to the common cold or ordinary flu, but these symptoms might go from mild to severe. Since bird flu had infected very few humans, there is less data available about symptoms of this infection. However, some of the most common symptoms are running nose, sore throat, pink eyes with irritation, cough, and high fever. Some patients may experience body aching, vomiting, shortness of breath, and stomach pain. Treatment of bird flu In 1997, some cases of bird flu were detected in humans and 60% of individuals died due to this virus. Like the COVID-19 test, the bird flu test is not available everywhere and doctors may recommend chest x-rays, white blood cell count tests, and auscultation tests. After knowing the results of medical tests, health experts treat this like an ordinary fever and flu. Some of the antiviral medicines, Xenomivir and Paramivir, are used to treat this virus. Some health professionals believe that vaccines can be prepared by making variations in the existing vaccine. Who is more vulnerable and at risk? 
If any individual is taking care of domestic poultry or working for the safety of wildlife may get an infection with the H10N3 virus. But if individuals follow proper SOPs, use masks and wear gloves during handling of poultry and birds, there are least chances of infection. Similarly, individuals with weak or suppressed immune systems and low white blood cell counts are more prone to catch this virus. For example, patients with respiratory ailments like asthma and liver or diabetic patients have weak immune system and their body is less responsive to viral attack. Such patients should take extra care of themselves. Bird flu risk factors H10N3 and H5N1 both strains of bird flu have a long life and can survive more than 100 hours without the host body. Any infected bird can contaminate the air and touched surfaces by spreading the virus during breathing and via feces. This virus can spread continuously for 5 to 10 days from an infected bird. Similarly, healthcare workers dealing with patients, poultry workers, visitors of infected areas, and can contract this virus. Prevention from bird flu as we already have discussed, some people are at higher risk of getting infected with bird flu. They should take special care of themselves. Similarly, if someone works at a bird farm, must follow proper SOPs and should regularly change the dress, gloves, and masks. More importantly, timely vaccinate your domestic or poultry birds and don't forget to use a mask when you are giving vaccination or cleaning that area. Never get too close to these birds and maintain proper distance. Keep domesticated birds away from places where you cook and serve food. This might not be a common case, but if you ever happen to pass by a place where birds' habitats are located, don't drink static water within the well. Remember, keep a water bottle with you and don't eat anything raw from the forest. So guys, that's all about bird flu and risk factors associated with it. Although both the bird flu and COVID-19 are respiratory ailments and might have similar symptoms and disease presentation, yet COVID-19 is more contagious and intense than bird flu virus. Also, COVID-19 is more common in humans than bird flu, which is common in birds and rarely affects humans. Despite these differences, preventative measures to both of these viruses are common. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.